morning. It is breakfast time. It's 7.30. I've been up for two hours now. Nivea woke up about half hour earlier than she normally does. So about 5.30ish she ate. So she'll be eating here in an hour. But I'm making breakfast. We had pancakes last night and scrambled eggs. I'm watching my dog. So we're just having that again for today because I need to buy some eggs. We have errands to run up to our city. Blaze has um, a checkup with the doctor who he had sinus surgery last week. And so he, if you followed me on Instagram, you knew that. But so he has to check up for his one week appointment. So we're gonna run some errands up there, see some grandparents. And it's gonna be a full day, but I'm just drinking my coffee, making some bacon, rewarming scrambled eggs, our pancakes, and it's going to be a quick but good morning. <laughs> because there's some marks that get on the bottom. So I just like to kind of spray it around. Oops, it's lost focus. <laughs> and let it sit for about 10 minutes and then I come back and wipe it. So it gives me time to clean the rest of my bath. Are you talking, honey? Are you talking? Hi, sweetie. How was your nap? Now you're not gonna talk. Okay. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I am going to turn the sprinkler on in our one of our gardens it had rained a while ago but this garden just seems to stay super dry i don't know why the soil is just kind of crusty and i planted some fall produce some beans some radishes um what else i can't remember carrots there we go a root vegetable because they'll last they'll um, be okay right before the frost hits so and you can do that. You can plant stuff like mid-July and it should grow. I'm in South Dakota, so you don't get quite as long of a growing period into the fall. But I'm gonna throw the sprinkler on for a couple hours before we head out. to plant some more fall produce. I pulled out some of my snap peas um, from this area here. I left a few because they're still producing pretty well, but I'm gonna plant a few carrots and some lettuce because they grow well, like I said earlier, in cooler temperatures. So um, I got a good crop of carrots here already, but I want some more. I love gardening, so I'm gonna do that and hopefully it will produce.
full of stuff. I'm sure you can see all that. And the little baby. She's sleeping. But we're going to donate all this stuff. Blaze has some things to give to, or not give to, see if they'll buy from him at last stop. CD shop. It used to be last stop oh. CD shop, but it's not anymore. And then he has his nasal appointment, and then we gotta go see some grandparents, or we get to. And we have to. Oh, okay, we have to. No, it's. And then, uh. Get some groceries. Okay. We're gonna get rid of all this stuff. All this stuff. Yay! Donations. Okay, so as you drive, tell us how that pain was in comparison to your nasal surgery. Well, first he put this long, uh, probably thick, oh. yeah, has like a very small screw, kind of like your uh, eyeglasses screwdriver. It's oh yeah. It's really, really thin. Kind of like that. So that wasn't so bad. You went in there and looked, I'm like, oh, this isn't so bad. And then he brings a suction device, and it's about the same width. And then he puts both up your nose, and that's like, okay, that's a little uncomfortable. <laughs> but then he gets in there, and then if there's any scabs or mucus, he starts sucking it. Well, you now just imagine that those scabs are hooked to your nose hair, and now they're getting pulled out from the inside. Ooh. Yeah, so that hurt. And then he's like moving it around, and then he gets out his forceps. <laughs> and those are like double the size. <clears throat> and yeah, it was quite painful. He said that was like a seven out of 10. And he said after his nasal surgery, that was like a four out of 10. So definitely more painful. And it's, he was crying, right, weren't you, honey? Yes, it was. <laughs> I would say, yeah, seven out of 10 for pain, discomfort, like max discomfort. He said it wasn't as painful as just the most uncomfortable thing he's ever done. Worse than a marathon. Worse than his marathon, like shorter time span, but it's still very painful. I don't recommend that to my worst enemies. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, we are on the way to see grandparents. It is her feeding time. <coughs> She's doing really well. Just easier to feed it grandparents house than in the vehicle so we can do that then we'll hit up Aldi and go home shopping at Aldi Blaze and I divided and conquered he's at Walmart right now and Miss Nevaeh is sleeping and I can't find the bananas and oh they're right there totally missed those He loves bananas. Yeah. Alright, let's check my list. Oh, look at what he found. Ice cream. Sweet, we'll eat that. Oh, Greek? What? Greek yogurt ice cream? Oh, yummy. I got it for my wife. Yes, yummy. Alright, let's check my list. Check it out. Avocados were only 69 cents. Eggs. Oh, right there. Can you grab two dozen that are not broken, please? Yep. Um, oh. I need some spicy mustard. You can keep my butt. <laughs> no. <laughs> some spicy mustard. You checking them? That's good. Okay. I'll go find spicy mustard. You can push that. How do you push it? <laughs> Let's find this. <laughs> I guess you can pull. We already have some dark chocolate at home, so we don't need that. 
spicy mustard. Mm, gotta be in this aisle. Somewhere. There's regular mustard. Carpet. Ooh, I'm gonna get some Dijon and spicy. Perfect. Oh, that's a pretty area rug. For super cheap. Alright, I kind of like looking at this area. Comfy pillows. Comfy stuff. Okay, we better go. This is what we do when Blaze buys ice cream. And I leave silverware in the vehicle. So we're eating our uh, Greek yogurt ice cream on the drive home. Huh? That'll probably only last like a week. Because Blaze loves daily ice cream. Yeah. Keeps the doctor away. Oh, we had like an apple a day, but yeah, an, ice, an ice cream a day. Pretty but it is good, thing. and honestly, there's a lot of sugar in here. But honestly, uh, we don't, oh no, no, we don't buy ice cream that much. <laughs> the precious moments. She's so big. Look at her, look how flexible she is. She's so flexible, she can touch her foot to her face. Soon she'll be eating her toes. Can you touch your foot to your face? Oh, <laughs> you almost can. Oh my honey. Ha ha ha. Yeah, are Am you I gonna silly? giggle? Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. No, with your smiles. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Look at your tongue. Look yeah. at your tongue. Hi. Hi honey. Yeah, someday we're gonna show this. Your high school graduation. It'll be so funny. Working on supper, it is done. So we have potatoes. They said sweet potatoes at Aldi, but they definitely are not sweet potatoes. Um, then just roasted some chicken in the oven. It smells good. Then I just made up a salad and zucchini noodles, possibly some feta. I've been really enjoying feta to go on the salad. So gonna be real simple. Nevaeh ate and is down for bed. Yeah, so we're just gonna eat some supper, and I don't know what else we gotta do tonight, but something. I don't know, it might just be more of a relaxing night, which will be nice, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to have you subscribe as well. So anyways, hope you have a blessed and wonderful day, and I will be talking with you in my next video. Bye.